Oh, it is very dark in here. Hold on. Hello, dee 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 there. My name is Shampoo Bong, and this is a tutorial on how to have glowing, also known as emissive skin parts, in Minecraft Java Edition. In a similar vein to my last tutorial, which was blinking player skins, this is a feature for the entity texture features, also known as ETF mod for Minecraft Java Edition, available on ModRymph from version 1.16.5 all the way to 1.20.4 for fabric. Quilt, Forge, and Neo Forge. This will enable you to have emissive properties, or just simply glowing parts, of your Minecraft skin, or just your whole skin if you feel like it. A few details before we get started include the fact that the light will not actually interact with the terrain. As you can see here, I'm more of a glow stick than a lamp. And due to ETF Entity Texture Features, which enables this being a client side mod, it will be tied to what players have the mod instead of any server side magic. So you can be on any server, and if someone else has the mod, they will be able to see your glowing skin. And if they also have properties with a mod, you will also be able to see their glowing skin. Now, if you don't have a mod, you probably shouldn't be enabling features from the mod on your skin. So inevitably, the first part of this tutorial is going to be installing the mod. As you can see, here's a mod room page for entity texture features. I will link this down in the description, of course. Along the side here, we have all the featured versions that you will need for fabric, quilt, forge, etc. Just pick and choose based on your Minecraft mod launcher and the version you are playing on. I'm going to grab fabric for 1.20. .1. That will download onto your hard drive. And now, quick disclaimer, if you're at the point where you're wondering how to actually install mods, I'm afraid this is not the tutorial for you. This video does assume you already have the knowledge of how to download, install, and utilize Minecraft mods. But not to worry, even if this select tutorial is not about that, there are countless other tutorials on YouTube, on anywhere, about how to simply download Minecraft mods. So if you're stumped at this stage, I will link some simple tutorials in the description. However, at this stage, before we move on, please note it is highly recommended for you of the mod menu mod, very simple but effective mod that simply adds a button on the menu that lists all the mods you have on your client and gives easy ways to customise them and look into their settings. This is crucial for the tutorial we are doing today as it will make it very easy to customise your skin with the Entity Texture features. Again, I will leave a link in the description and you will download it simply the same way you did with Entity Texture features, matching the correct version of Minecraft. Okay, hopefully you've installed the mods by now, restart the game if they haven't shown up. Okay, now we are going to get to the actual part where you have ETF installed and you are going to apply the glowing settings. To demonstrate this, I'm going to change into a skin that has not had these features applied yet so that you can follow along with me. Righty ho, here I am in the same skin, but as you can see, it is not glowing. We're going to fix that. Now, for this part, I do genuinely recommend that you perform it in a dark area of the server or single player world you're on as it actually helps and you'll see why later. Well I mean if you're in survival maybe don't do it in a dark cave but you know what I mean just find a dark place and stay safe okay. First simple step is to press mods and open up your mod menu page. Locate entity texture features you can scroll down but there's also a handy search bar at the top. You're going to want to click on Entity Texture Features so that it is selected. Then press this button in the top right corner which says Configure when you hover over it. This is the settings page and this is where all the magic is going to happen. Instantly you will see there is a button which says Emissive Texture Settings. Even though that is technically what we're doing today, that's more related to resource packs which is a whole other topic. So we're going to want to press Player Skin Settings. And make sure Player Skin Features is on, which it already is but it may not be for you. And then Open Skin Feature Tool. Okay, here's our skin, here's our guy, and this button here, add ETF features to skin. That's the only button we can press out of this little menu, so it's the one we're going to want to press. Now that will have applied the ETF features to our skin file, which will tell ETF to do all the magic when we load in with the skin. But we haven't done any magic yet, so we're going to do it now. This button here, emissive pixels, of course this is the emissive tutorial, so this is the one we're going to want to press. Okay, so now we have told our skin file that we want glowing parts. So the next simple step is to select the glowing parts. <laughs> this is actually what the tutorial is about today and is ideally the most fun part. So select pixels, this button here. Okay, you'll see it puts us on this interface where we can still see our skin, but we can also see our skin file. All these extra features you wouldn't usually see on a skin PNG are the things added by ETF that communicate with the mod to allow our trickery to be possible. We can ignore most of these things. A lot of them are based on the blinking, but we did another tutorial about, along with various other things that I'll definitely touch on in future videos. So the emissive pixels are done by colour. For example, if you select one colour here, so we're going to click on this little part of my jumper right here, click. That will apply emissive properties to every pixel of that colour on my skin. Then same here. That will now apply emissive properties to every pixel of that colour on my skin. And that's how we're going to do it. So to demonstrate, I'm going to make my jumper 
my red, my blue, and my white stripes. They're going to be emissive. The reason I wanted to stand in a dark cave is that it makes it a little bit more clear what pixels you're selecting, because they'll go a little bit brighter on the skin. Editing jam here, I actually forgot to turn off my gamma mod before opening this menu, so the skin will show up a lot darker for you if you do actually remember to be in a dark place. Disclaimer, this is much easier if you have a skin without many colours in it, if you have a very detailed, while shaded skin. This may be a little bit harder, so you do need to be keeping a good eye on your skin for this, so you can work out what pixels you selected. You'll notice in this little patch of the skin here, all the emissive pixels are showing up. This little 8x8 square will show what colours you've selected, and will tell ETF what colours to make emissive. Okay, hopefully I have emissified all the pixels of my jumper by now, so what we're going to want to do is press back, and then save. Right here, save. Upload skin changes to Minecraft profile will update your skin directly, however if you want a bit more flexibility over the skin file, open skin folder is your go-to. This will launch your .minecraft folder or just the folder of whatever instance you are using. You will notice a file down here called ETF player skin printout, this is a skin file we just created with the ETF features. You can keep this in here, but I do recommend moving it somewhere else, whether that be the downloads folder or just anyway where you're going to remember where it is. I also do strongly suggest you rename this, as if you work with ETF a lot, you're going to end up with a lot of files called ETF player skin printout. So here we have subscribe.png, and now I'm just going to move this to downloads. So from here there are two ways to go. If you're confident that the emissive pixel selecting you did in-game will work, you can simply just apply the skin on your Minecraft launcher and log in with the skin. But if you want to be a bit more precise with your emissification, or maybe there are a few spots you've missed or want to tweak, I recommend editing the PNG. Now this shouldn't be too hard, as you probably have some form of application that allows for the editing of PNGs, whether that be anything from MS Paint to Photoshop, however I do have a recommendation. And that's a free program known as Blockbench. I won't do a big explanation as I want to keep this tutorial relatively short, but essentially it's just a pixel art editor that specifically works very well with Minecraft. So there will be a link in the description to download Blockbench, and it's very simple to set up. And if you already have it, great. <laughs> so this is a Blockbench main menu that you will see when you launch it up. There are a lot of features of this program, but that's for another tutorial. What we're going to want to do to edit our skin file is very simply press open model down here, or just do a control O on your keyboard. Then select your ETF printout skin file wherever you put that, and press open. Boom! There it is in Blockbench. There are a lot of things you can do here as you'll see, but again this is not a tutorial on how to use Blockbench. There are other tutorials that you can look up if you want to do that. Then from here you can just simply use the knowledge that this 8x8 square here is where your emissive pixels will go. And now instead of that interface in game with the mod settings, you can just press a colour picker, click on the colour, press B or the brush up here to enable the paintbrush, and place a pixel on the square here, and now that because it's part of a skin file, will tell ETF to make that colour emissive. We don't actually want that colour to be emissive, but just whatever parts you want to be emissive. Then once you're done, you can simply do Control S on your keyboard, or right click and save. And now for the final and possibly most exciting part, which is uploading your skin to whatever Minecraft launch you use. Relogging from the server if you're on multiplayer, or restarting the game if you're on single player. I'm just going to relog to the server, and now it should have applied my skin, let's see. Yes, we are glowing, and I have terrifying glowing eyes. You can do a lot of fun things with this, such as the glowing eyes, the glowing clothes. If I jump, you'll see I even have glowing shoes. And as you will see, if we wait for me to blink, 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 come on, come on, come on. Yep, it's also compatible with the blinking eyes, because of course it is, they are part of the same mod, so you can have glowing eyes and still blink with them. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you, and I hope you enjoy having glowing parts of your Minecraft skin. As always, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I will try my best to answer. Toodle pip! I see you.